60. <laughs> I will probably cut this one down the middle. And our 40 is a bit way too much. So I got overindulged again. Factorio, what are you doing with me? Uh, hook this up. And that's pretty much it. Your requester, you are part of network one. Uh, disable your bullshit. You order up fuel oil. 350,000 of it. Then drive me over into the refinery itself. Over here. No, that's not good. Uh, right here. We also have to add some power poles to the mix. Or else these turrets can't do shit. Hey, didn't I tell you to wait? Go back. Manual. So, this corner is a bit annoying. It will be constantly attacked. We could help it out by digging out a bit more water over here. But then again, this all could just be sand. Good thing is, the only thing that can actually attack us are spitters, and spitters are pretty squishy. But I'm opting out for the easy way. So, we never ever have set up this station. And we require fuel oil. So, how do we do this? Uh, it will probably be a pretty rainbowish setup. There's more fuel oil up there. Because we're mixing and maxing these tanks. Uh, we're already sitting on 500,000. Uh, we're going to have some trouble with these lines. Actually, are we? I have an idea. Uh, I could pull yellow over here. Then we can pull each one of these out as far as we like. Crossing over will be not possible, so red and green will be mixed. However, as long as we can do something... Yeah, we can do something like this. So... Um, disconnect this. Disconnect this whole line. So, you go into there, you then go into there. Uh, you are already connected to him. And to be perfectly honest, I don't even have to add each canister to the mix. I can just skip some. Like this and this, this is better. So that's all of these connected.
And you are also connected. Wait, this. This one can go. This one can go. Then you're connected to you. And I get one of these. Our network is level one. You're a provider. Look it up. Then these pumps are not connected correctly. So we need one of these. Oh, these, however, are already there. I'm semi prepared. Uh, your provider so negates the train and read from the LTN. This station can go. Uh, let's quickly set up you up. You are pretty easy. Yeah. Ah, also, the first order already went out. Uh, go into here, go into there. Uh, go into there. This stuff is filling up fast. I have to do something with this stuff. Uh, connect this up. Then, are these all already connected up? No. I built these from scratch. This is not the best solution, but I don't care. So, set filters. Ah, this is a train from Network 1. Oh, also... Bigger than fuel oil. There we go. At, 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 at. There we go. Now uh, we're pumping this stuff out. Next level, NAFTA. NAFTA will be red cable. Go in directly to here. Go over. Uh, There is no more coming. That goes. It goes into there. It goes into there. They're making it. They're starting it. And this should start to back up. It is. And this slowly goes down as it diverges into this tank. And here's now also the problem. Now this little thing will start to work. Well, there are 40,000 in here. Put 1k. They all have the same consumption. Yeah, and they do make more megawatts. So 100% neighbor bonus. So this is 10, 40, plus 13, that's another 60, 100, and the middle one is 16. So this is about 120 megawatts. I'm curious to see how this will go. And each of these is 10.8 megawatts. I have 10 on each side, so 20, 40. Uh, max consumption, max consumption. We will see how this goes. Uh, back on topic. Yeah. Now 
However, the next train is already scheduled. And it should be coming soon. So, you are NAFTA. I should also not be standing here. You go into there. Oh, you should also go into... Him. Yeah. No signal taint at the moment. And then we bypass you. Actually, we go directly to you. And the other one will be with green cable. Because we have taint. So you go into there, and you go over there. so focused on my wires so that I didn't see the train coming there we go 600,000 of this 2 million NAFTA that's the power plant doing still burning we're now at 300 something something degrees. We require at least 400. So let's set the stations up. Uh, you can be green wire. Go in as a provider, negates the train, and read from the LTN. Fix you provide. NAFTA. And you need to be red wire because we have another wire scheme over here. Same over here. Negate the train. Read from the LTN. Fix you provide. Larger than zero, mineral oil. Then we need some LTN combinators over here. One here, one there. You are network one and you are provider. Copy paste. Hook this one up and hook this one up. They cannot pass the heat onto these heat pipes. They need the other heat pipes. So we are burning bacon at the moment. Go here and then go over here. That's kind of annoying. Oh, no, wait, they probably can. I haven't connected them correctly. Uh, stop, stop. Go here. Maybe actually hooking up stuff correctly will make things work.
Wait here. Oh, I said wait here. Now watch this thing just go boom. Is this thing not hot enough? Three forty one, three forty nine. Oh, the all the heat probably. Oh, what happened over here? Probably all the heat has just dissipated along the path. Well, this system is still heating up, and it'll probably just take a while. Uh, but you should go out of the way. Uh, let's just keep that thing running for now. I'm pretty sure it's more or less accurate. Uh Temperature calculations, um, but let's switch it up real quick. Uh, go to the taxi stand. I need to collect my thoughts. Things are heating up again. However, this is slowly going to the pace. Oh, 120. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10 is the exact number this pump can supply. <laughs> That's a lucky design choice. So I'm very curious to see what's going to happen. Now, um, we have silver, we have gold, we have lead, we have copper plate, Circuit City, plastics, Rebel X. Oh, then also things on our to-do list is expand. Oh, these things are going. You're not going because we're not getting enough stuff right in. And you're almost empty. You're going like a charm. We're sitting on a ton of lead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These resources for now are working. How is Red Science doing? Um, fixing Red Science. How about that? The only reason it's not working is because it's imbalanced. It's actually done here. 
Come on, turn on already. How much did I order up? 350,000. Uh, stay here, wow. So, because you are imbalanced, also this can all go. Oh, not because you're imbalanced, because you're not ordering up anything. Why aren't you ordering up anything? Now what? We're going to rebuild you. Just take it away. Uh, leave the robot port and this power pole. Do I have some more sections free? No. Then let's build some. Uh, take all of this away. This power network up there is redundantly connected over here. And over here. So we can actually get rid of both of these. And you. These, these. Also them, then get rid of nature. Ah, let's play some more fabrication. Should be fine. And it's taxing me up straight up there. And we will also need a roundabout up there. Ruin the boot. This went all over the place. Go into there. Go all the way over here. Oh, oh there is a puddle in the midst. And get rid of all of this nature. Nobody needs nature. And let's add some robot ports to the mix. Oh, there. No, wait, there aren't. One over here. One over there. I'm here. Okay, Roboport, Roboport. Robo what happened over here? Another puddle. So my robot should be building this soon. Almost. We're at 474. Core temperature is rising. D should be starting soon. The outside temperature is also decent. We are sitting on a ton of fuel. You are ordering up as much fuel as you can. Also, I have no clue where my black trains are. But they're clearly not where they should be. Where is this going on? Over here. Ah, huh? they're moving. Now, let's see if I miscalculated. So, each one of these... Mm, 
max consumption 10.8 megawatts and each one of these consumes 5.4 I think I have grossly, grossly miscalculated. I mean, this one can feed two of these. This one can two of these. So these four, well, two of these, two of these, two of these, two of these. Then one of these can feed the whole block and then Yeah, I don't think that heat will be going anywhere next to this. Well, we could just... plonk this down. And I'm pretty sure that these will never heat up. These will go. What's the maximum temperature we can make? So how the hell did I manage to miscalculate this heart? Ah? These are starting. Maybe not. Let's let's await it a little bit. And oh. they are at least um, making some power. I mean, worst case scenario, we'll just cut it off at this end. Four six six. Still rising. And core temperature for here is rising. But does the overall Output rise, that's more or less a question. Because I'm pretty sure I can activate all these fans without actually getting more power out of it. Well, look at this, because these are now only running at half power. So it will slowly propagate through the rows. Very slowly. Yeah, let's do this. I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Nevertheless, uh, how are these up there doing? You already placed some landfill over here. Yes, you have. Uh, actually, fabrication station. Place everything, please. Thank you. And we're going to start with you. Uh, first of all, you are also going to get an upgrade. You're going to double down. And you're going to make red signs. You do not need to export this. And uh, what do we need for red signs? Basically, requester, no bullshit. Order up 5,000 of these inserters. And 5,000 white belt. Make that 10,000. And. 
And you balance it out. And you make up to 20,000 red signs. Copy paste, paste, paste. Uh, we have to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. This added input. Uh, let's just use red belt because we can. And there it goes. Then hook these up around the corner and hook these up around the corner. Copy paste. Same stuff. And then red over here. And red over there. Copy paste. Not all of this over. You are doing this less than one. Uh, we should also pull the green cable over. Paste, paste. Good. Now you're making red signs again, like a boss. You're still awaiting. Yeah, look at this. The power we're making is now dissipating through all of these. So even though they are active and running, they're running at pretty much the lowest possible temperature. So adding another block of nine of these will double our output and maybe that will be enough to fill them all up. Um, let's recalculate. We will then have... Now we'll still have four of these. This is four times 10, uh, four times two units. I'm just calculating in units because each of these has 5.4 megawatts. So this is two of these. Um, then tri triplets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 times two units. And quintuplets, one, two, three, four. Uh, four times two and a half units. Right? Thirteen point four, five point four, five point four, ten point eight. So yes, it's two or two and a half, and your triplets, sixteen point two. Yeah. So that's eight units plus twenty-five units plus twelve units is forty-five units. We have forty, so it will run all of these at max capacity. It could run even more. But fuel consumption will be doubled. So from 2.35 times about 40 units per second. Oh, wait. I have to calculate that. We could have uh, not enough chemical plants. Well, actually, we probably have. Uh, each of these consume. 2.35. I have 18 of them. That's a count of 20. That's about 40 units per second. Uh, we make fuel oil in 10 per second. And they have a crafting speed of way more. So that's going to be fine. That's just going to be just fine. So now we have a temperature drop. These will probably shut down. Yes. Because these now heat to, need to heat up. But once they do, this whole thing will be soaring. So, red science is going again. Now that we have some additional fabrication wings, we're under 
more things that we need to make or weren't there more things that we can just move up technically all of these they do not need to be down here so there's still something critical in here that we can move up actually no We could make these up here. But we only need them over in Circuit City. So I would rather make them over in Circuit City. Um, inline tanks. Oh yes, I remember what we need to make. These. We're not making these yet. So that's a good thing to do. And I'm pretty sure we're making these. Could also make the better walls. Yeah, let's also make the better walls. It's bricks and steel. And then we can use the better walls for defenses and the shittier walls for science. So, uh, you make better walls. Where are they? Over here. Up to... 5,000? Yeah, stacks of 100. Yeah, 5,000 is fine. And you make... Water clear clarifiers up to 200. Copy paste. Then you balance out... Better walls. Less than one. Copy paste and you balance out these less than one. Copy paste. Are there no robots being brought over here? No, there are no robots built over here. There used, needs to be one over here. Then at any given time, I want to have, say, 300 of these in my system. And you at any given time. I want to have like 50 of these in my system. And we're now going to order bricks and steel and bricks and steel and pipe. Uh, what is the steel pipe? Iron pipe. So iron pipe. Bricks. Steel. And do they actually need brown blue circuits? Wow, that's expensive. Would up like 2,000 of these. 4,000 of these. 2,000 of these. 2,000 of these. Get going. Uh, do you by any chance know how well Pi touched by an angel works? No. <laughs> I haven't played Pi Mods yet. I will play Pi Mods probably in my next playthrough, but that can still be like forever. <laughs> but. Oh. The problem with Angel's mods is it's kind of running out. I mean, the guy himself, Angel, uh, he doesn't have the time anymore to make the mods, to uphold the mods. And he, I don't think he has put it on um, GitHub yet. I'm not up to date. Could be that he maybe has a change of heart over the uh, Christmas period. But... Yeah, the, the angel mods, they do work, but they do need a bit of refining and reorchestrating to play nice with others. Uh, also, yeah, let's just dig it, man. Let's go over here. Let's go Petrocam. We need more pl plastic.
Now, these are running at the maximum capacity. And it goes all the way. Power pull. Nope, power pull. Why is the main problem? How does Pi play? Is it that complicated? Also our oil power plant now provides about half of which we use. Are there Comet Rangers here? I don't know who told me but it was part of a Friday Factorio uh, fact. When you click on the train and you have this menu open and you press control click, you can pay to the temporary stop. That's why I also have my black and yellow taxi train. He just drives me everywhere. So, um... Boop, boop, boop. We do have to watch this a bit, but it seems to be going well. It's actually increasing. And that's oil power. Slight miscalculation on my side, but this is actually fine. This is also a nice little design. Picture picture perfect. Yeah, that's in vanilla. I also I, I remember that I read about it and thought, ooh, that's nice. And then I've been playing this game for like a hundred hours and I never remembered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not the robot port. So let's go some cracking. We need to do all the cracking. We should also begin with cracking uh, these. Where are they? Um, over right here. This thing is already running more than full. So how do we get rid of this stuff? Residuals, residuals. Uh, we can make it into residual gas. That's it. <laughs> Add some steam to the mix and cook it up. Now, oil cracking will be very expensive because we will have boilers and boilers require power and power is feisty. Also, get rid of all of these rocks. So yeah, let's begin with residuals. I mean, we're sitting on them. So, uh, let's place the station at the same height as these guys, because I like this height. Pi is extremely complex and the guy who made it is kind of wants you to suffer. Now I'm interested. <laughs> now I'm very interested. So that pretty much has decided it. I will probably do a Pi Mods playthrough next to this once we are more or less through this. <laughs> um, speaking of through this, let's see what's going on over here. You guys are bringing stuff. You want to go... Oh, there are signals missing everywhere. These are in a state of deadlock. Uh, the actual problem is, about half a year ago we introduced his own ores. 
He then said he doesn't care about compatibility and someone else can take care of compatibility. Hence, touched by an angel mod. I mean, how weird can his ores be? I mean, angel's ores are already pretty weird with all the sorting. Now, we need to fix up some rubber ports over here. Especially over here. So, let's place you there. Then here. I should also be doing it like this, so we can do it a bit faster. And place you... Eh. Place you in the middle. Or middle-ish. Actually, this should be a perfect middle. And obviously, it's not in a perfect middle, and now I'm annoyed about it. Then we need an input. Let's make a big one. There we go. I'm also thinking about picking up Battletech again because I just can't get enough of Battletech. Battletech is so fun. And I haven't played uh, the uh, Rogue Tech mod yet. And now that mod support is officially in, I'm just waiting a bit until uh, the mod support has been just right with Rogue Tech. And then I'm going to swoop in and play it. So we need this and this. Now, how good can we crack this stuff up? How big of a facility are we speaking? So, 10 residual gas and 100 steam. Now, a boiler. Where are these? How much steam do you make? Oh, it actually tells me 40 steam per second. Uh, oh, I should also look at the time. So let's take a quick break. See you around.